This morning, in the middle of River Road, stood a locomotive. Behind it, 16 derailed cars, 60 freight cars behind them. The materials once on board spread across the ground. The wreckage after Tuesday afternoon's crash spanning a quarter mile. Crews are now tasked with removing the mangled train cars, cleaning 2,000 gallons of oil spilled, and carefully transporting the potentially hazardous chemicals on board the train, which was heading to Georgia. The train's hauling a variety of substances. Some of which are hazardous. They're, they are hauling some tankers with sulfuric acid on them. The derailed locomotive, its front end partially crushed, stopped just short of the global diesel fuel terminal building, but not before careening into a high low boom lift owned by Steelways Company. For unknown reasons, that boom lift became disabled on the tracks. The operator of the boom lift departed that vehicle, sensing or uh, ob obviously observing the impending impact. I spoke to the owner of Steelways Company who says it's typical for equipment to cross the tracks at that location. He says usually trains give off a signal warning of three whistles. Yesterday, he says he only heard one whistle before the impact. New York State Police say their investigation indicates something different. We believe that the train was certainly sounding its horn and following all uh, railway regulations. In total, three men were taken to the hospital, two CSX workers operating machinery on the tracks at the time of the crash, and the man inside of the high-low lift. All of them had minor injuries. This freight line, known as the River Line, services heavy traffic. State police uh, estimate that this will be reopened in about 24 hours, as will River Road. Live in Newburgh this afternoon, Magdalena Jarris, CBS 2 News. Maggie, thank you.